Benzamac here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Benzamac rack, which is a preset rack I made uh, in order for you guys to have a little bit easier of a time making some electronic music, get a better sounding song without trying as hard. Um, this is the rack that Reason starts you off with, usually, unless it has the uh, Kong. Oh, one thing is you need Reason 5. It won't work without the update because I use the uh, Kong and the new Dr. Rex loop player. But I'll talk about that later. For starters, go to Preferences. It'll be under File if you're using Windows. And then let's go to General. Uh, down here where it says Default Song, you should make sure it's on Custom and then click the folder and go find the rack wherever you saved it on your computer. Um, always be organized. That's one thing that's important. Okay, now that we've done that, we should be able to open a new file, and when it opens, it'll just start right off with the rack. So that's good. That's what we want. And now you can see we've got a bunch of combinators that all have labels and three mixers. Uh, the reason I have three mixers is mainly just to make it more organized and easier. Because, um, well basically, the reason I had this idea was because I would make songs and they would just have endless, endless, endless things in them. Patches and everything. I'd show you one, but I don't care. Um, yeah, but this way, it has basically everything you need right here just to get started. And then um, from there it just stays more organized. First we have the loop player. It uses the new Dr. Octorex, which is pretty cool. The new thing about that is that instead of one sample, it has eight available slots for different samples. So it allows you to fit more audio samples into one thing instead of having a bunch, which I still actually prefer for some reasons, but I won't go into that. So this is your loop player. It's got some samples loaded into it. Make sure you click the Enable Loop Playback to hear them, and then click Run. They're just some uh, basic dance samples. I'll turn the tempo up. You can use these, I guess, but I wouldn't recommend it. I just put them in because, you know, like, we're making dance music, so might as well have dance music. Um, but yeah, I really suggest using samples here for, like, maybe remixes or samples of your own voice which uh, you can use Recycle, which is another program made to work with Reason. And I'll be making another tutorial about how to use that. And in that tutorial, I'll go into the loop player more. But basically, you have all these random things which you don't need to know about. All you need to know is here's some reverb, here's some delay, there's a vocoder, I'll go into that more. The whole combinator will make your samples just pop out a little bit more in the mix and uh, just be more ready to go when you load the samples up. Next, we have, oh, and by the way, if you are new to Reason, which is perfectly fine, these little arrows here on the side, which I've been using a lot, uh, expand and collapse all the things, like this. That is really useful. A little trick, if you hold Option on a Mac and click the arrow, it will do to all of them what you do to one of them. So if I Alt-click or Option-click, uh, the arrow, it will collapse it and then collapse the rest or open, whichever I'm doing. But yeah, so we open this one and it says bass drum. So we click show devices and here we see we have a Kong drum designer, which is pretty cool. It's a new thing in region 5. Um, and basically what I've done here is I've loaded up a bunch of bass drum samples and there are quite a few of them. And they're all better than the ones that Reason gives you to start with. Yeah, lots of drum samples. And the thing I did here, you can see it says hit 1, hit 2, hit 3, hit 4. And then it says what's in each one. And that basically means there are four different layers of bass drums, and then that's basically how they're organized. They're all really just bass drums. But the way you would go about hearing them is you click this little quick edit mode button down here, the little Q in the brownish square. And then you'll see this grid. And then if you wanted to hear all the second layers, you'd have to switch each button over to the second layer. Which is a little bit of a pain, but whatever. They're good samples and uh, it's worth it, I think. 
yeah so then you can just check out all those samples and up here I threw on some reverb and delay the cool thing about the drum designer is it comes with respective effects built in for each pad so I can put like some some reverb on but you know I don't like these that much I don't know it's just easier to have it up here I put them there because I'm nice. And then we have snares and claps, which are obviously important in electronic music. Same thing applies. There's a bunch of samples and more layers. You can see the labels for yourself. I added some equalizer stuff, some mastering devices, to have this little punch button here. And what that does is it makes the snare a lot more punchy. You might find that when you're making a song, your snare drum doesn't come out as much as you want it to, so if you hit that button, it'll just bring it out a little bit more. And then this knob controls how much exactly. I wouldn't recommend putting it all the way up, because that might be too much, but uh, whatever you find suitable for your music. Here's the hi-hats. Uh, again, same thing, just lots of hi-hats. The first half is closed, the second half is open. There's some reverb, some delay. Uh, effects. The effects are cool. I haven't used them that much in my music, but I had them so I figured I'd make a combinator for them. The first aid are impacts, then we have reverb kicks. Impacts are kind of like, they're good for transitions. The reverb kicks are also good for transitions. That's kind of losty, if anybody watched Lost and wasted six years of their life like I did. Now, those are all the drum samples. This is the Benzamax Synth Factory. And basically, I tried to make a combinator that would allow you to make good, ravey sounding synths without like trying very hard. And that's the one that's loaded in, and you can use that one if you want, but I didn't really work on it very hard. It took me like a few minutes to make, I think. But basically, the way you use this is here is the Thor patch, and if you don't know anything about Reason, then you can kind of ignore this part, but I recommend paying attention, I guess. Um, basically, you can design the sound of the synth with this device, but let's say you didn't know anything about the controls, you could just click this folder right here, next to where it says init patch, which is initialized patch, um, and then just click another patch in Reason, and then we'll go, like that sounds, it's got a lot of reverb and it's, it's pretty uh, loud. See, if you click bypass all effects, it'll make all this stuff stop working. And that's what it sounds like. And then you turn it back on. And you've got that. So then, yeah, you can just go through and find an instrument you like. Maybe you already know some you like and then you can just pop them in there and it'll just sound better. So you can pick anything you want. You can pick another combinator and that'll work. You can pick anything. Little Skrillex. Yeah, so that's the synth factory. I put two in because there's a good chance you'll need more than one synth in your song. Um, you can make one a bass synth. Uh, which is also something you might want to use. But yeah, just do your best playing around with the patch. You can play around with all these knobs. I recommend that because that's the best way to learn Reason is you just turn it and see what happens and then remember because you'll start to notice them all over Reason because it's really not that complicated. So yeah, play around with stuff. And the next time you open a new file, it'll go back to the way it was so you don't have to worry about like breaking it or anything. Just don't save anything as the Benzamac rack because then you won't have the original one anymore and you'll have to go download it again. Here is Benzamac Keys which is basically just piano. It's just a nice little piano patch I like to use. I thought I'd put it in there because piano is a very versatile instrument. And then here we have sub bass which is pretty self-explanatory. Put it down a few octaves. We've just got a nice low and that, if you follow the roots of the chords, then it'll make your song a lot bassier, it'll slap a lot harder, and uh, I think you'll like it a lot more. This boost button is pretty nice, just makes it a little bit louder. 
You don't necessarily need it though. If you have a subwoofer, then you'll know. If you don't, then you'll probably add more bass than you should. But whatever, bass is a good thing. Oh, the reason I had three mixers, just real quick. One is for vocals, one's for drums, and one's for synth. Let's say you were making a song and everything was going good. You wanted to mute all the drums. And then instead of clicking mute, 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 mute four times because that's annoying you can just go over here solo one of the channels that you don't have anything in as you can see it'll mute everything out so you can just easily mute your vocals or anything else you have in this one or your synths i don't know i just something i like if you don't care it won't even affect you so yeah that's another thing you should watch which channels are being used if you make new devices if you needed to add another synth factory, what you could do is click this little floppy disk image and then save it somewhere and then go to create, go to instrument, create instrument, and then go find it and then create it and you'd have another one right there and you'd be ready to go. That's basically how you use it. I think it's a really good thing to have. I wish I had it when I started using Reason and um... I put a lot of thought and time into it, into what it should have. If you have any recommendations, then just let me know and I'll gladly update it. Oh, one thing, the intro you heard on this video was made completely with this rack. That was my project. I wanted to make a little intro with it just to show you what it can do. So yeah. Um, I'm Benzamac, and this was the Benzamac Startup Rack. So, there you go. I hope you liked it.